Hello, Prudential Sales Executives for our video message of the week. All right, today's message is entitled, My Sphere and Past Clients Love Me. Now, how many of you out there have made this statement? You know, let me tell you something. I get the majority, if not all of my business from referrals. My past clients in my sphere love me. All right, you know what? A lot of that may absolutely be true, but I want to give you some tips so you don't fall into some traps, all right? One thing I want you to do is I don't want you to assume a couple things. That when you say your sphere or clients love you, a couple things it doesn't mean. First, it doesn't mean that you're always on their mind on a constant basis. So for those of you who are staying in contact with your sphere and past clients on a constant basis, I mean, they are always hearing from me. I am on their mind and I'm making sure that I'm on, your, on their mind. That's perfect. That's exactly what needs to happen. When you tend to have either worked with someone and let's say the transaction went great and they really loved you, they even wrote your great letter, don't forget, out of sight, out of mind. That's only gonna work for a while and then they will start forgetting. And it's nothing negative towards you. It's just that you know their life moves on and they forget. Oh, you're still in real estate. Oh, I didn't know you do new homes. Okay, I only thought you could do resale homes. Oh, yeah, I just recently bought a home. Aren't you excited for me? Oh, that wasn't marketed with your company. Uh, it was a, another company. Oh, you can do any company. I forgot about that. Whatever those scenarios are, and we've all been through them, we want to avoid that. So one, don't assume that you're always on their mind. You have to make sure you're always on their mind. All right? The next thing is make sure that you understand when, when you say they love you, doesn't mean they're always thinking what's in your best interest. Keep in mind, internalize that they're thinking what's in their best interest. And that's okay. That's what they should be doing. And sometimes, inadvertently, what's in their best interest, they assume, okay, something that truthfully isn't in yours. I can use that same example. They're going out and buying a new home. They're not doing anything against you. They're just out there looking. They cross that threshold, okay? They've been working with you, but they're just out on the weekend, nothing against you. They cross the threshold, and now the builder, the specific builder, does not want to pay any commission because guess what? They came into that housing track without you, whatever the case may be is, okay? Don't assume they're always thinking in your best interest. Know that they're thinking in their best interest, okay? Lastly on this, and very important is, your definition of love and their definition of love can be very different things, okay? Never ever forget that you always are on stage, even if you're not working with them at that time, and it's very key that you're continually showing them value. You know, one of the ways to do this is, you know, your online seller advantage. Uh, secondly, maybe in the communication of what you're doing with them uh, on an ongoing basis, where you're calling them, keeping them up to date on what's going on in the market, or market reports that you can send to them on an ongoing basis. So you're always doing that connection and you're letting them know, I'm not only there for you when you need me, I'm there for you before you need my direct services. And you know what? I want you to use me as basically a resource for your real estate business. It's very important. I know it's happened to all of us that clients that truly do like us end up maybe buying or selling from someone else, not because they wouldn't have used us, okay, but we assumed that their love for us meant they think like we do. They don't. They think for them and that's okay. That's why we have to stay on our toes to be productive and to make sure that every piece of business and opportunity that we can get, okay, doing a great job like we do, we do. All right, have a great week, everybody, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.